bam, there you go. Now we got live streaming option data coming right into your computer. Finance family, it's your other brother, Adam Gitbags. And today we're gonna be getting live streaming options price data from the TD Ameritrade API in Python. So it's important to note, this video has two parts. Essentially first, we have to get a contract name from the HTTP client, and then we have to feed that name into the streaming client to subscribe to that options stream. So first thing, of course, we import our modules here, and then this first block of code goes to the HTTP client, and then it accesses Apple contract data, and that gives us a name that we're gonna feed to the streaming client. So if you haven't seen accessing data from the TD API, you can check out the beginning fundamentals there. Here we have the documentation for the HTTP client, so you have all your authentication and so we have authentication up here, and then we're gonna call our get options chain, and then we're gonna dig into the JSON data to extract all of the options data for that specific option. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run that through, and then here is all of the data for our Apple June 17, 130 call. And what we need here is this symbol name. So you can easily parse that out if you save this JSON data to a variable, and then you can feed that directly into your streaming client, which comes up next. Here we have a creation of a queue class, because what we're gonna wanna do is just store some data from our stream so that we can look at it, right? And you can essentially do whatever you want, but I just want to stream some data into the queue and then we're gonna pause and analyze that. So I instantiate our queue class here, and then this next block of code is the authentication for the streaming client, and then we have our client read stream. But we need to know about our streaming client. So we have our code that you see in the program. Here is our authentication, and then we have our read stream functions with our message handlers. And so what we wanna do here is we want to subscribe to options streaming data. In the previous video, we have our level one equity quotes here and those functions, but if you scroll further down in the documentation, you can find functions for accessing options streams. So we have our level one option subs, and then we have our unsubscribe function here, and then we have our handler. And those are the basic modifications that we're gonna be making to the body of the read stream code here. So first, We've gone through our authentication for the stream client. Then you can set your quality of service. And then basically all this does here in our handler is it prints the data to the screen, but then it also adds the JSON data into our queue that we created so that we can look at the data later. Now, here's the main change from the equity subs is we change our add level one set of equity handler we have our add level one option handler, which you can see this function right here. In addition, we want to add our subscription function here, which are our level one option subs. And you can see that right here in the documentation. It takes symbols here. And then if you wanna edit the field, it sends back. And then we feed in our contract name right here. And then same deal for our unsubscribe function, our level one option unsubs, we feed in the contract name right here and then we go ahead and we call that async function and then it's going to continuously read options data to us and then right here down below i've just got all of the options data for one item in the queue and then also for that item in the queue we parsed out the bid price and the ask price there so let's go ahead and let's run the stream bam there you go now we got live streaming option data coming right into your computer to the second we can see this is uh, refreshing here so i'm going to go ahead and keyboard escape out of that but as you can see the stream you know still printing messages to the screen so what we need to do is we need to unsubscribe so we're going to close our stream using this close stream function that we wrote here with our unsubscribe function and then the contract name so we're gonna go ahead and close that off. Now everything's closed off. What we can do, and since I've saved this here, as you can see here in our queue, we have data, save all of these to variables. Looks like it uh, doesn't have ask price on that specific quote. So if you go to the queue, there's probably other 
you know, quotes. This just looks like they only put a bid out. So at least we'll be able to see a bid price on that. All right, then I just went a couple items back in the queue and we can see that there's ask price data here. Um, so if we just wanna look at that quote right there, we'll just use this here. It looks like that quote has a bid and an ask price as well. It looks like those first couple items were just bid price only so you can see all the the data here all right fam that was the quick and easy of it you can check the documentations to look into the functionality of the library and then of course you could just change this contract name here to any contract really that you're looking for obviously the less liquid the contract the less quotes are going to be coming through so just be mindful of that other than that fam please use this knowledge for good and if you want to support me you can go ahead and buy me a coffee at the buy me a coffee link in the description hope everyone stays safe in these crazy markets let's go get these bags fam